Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of Project Peanuts and as you can see uh, without the box though but we have a booster box battle of Zendikar right here in front of us and I removed the box already so we could get started right away. This is gonna be a more simple video I'm just gonna unpack these packs see what we can get and uh, well maybe tell some things about it. The first booster of the booster box will be this booster. I have my sleeves ready for just in case you never know. And uh, hold on, let me just zoom that in a little bit so everybody can see. Smite the Monstrous is their first common, so I will sift through the comments a little bit. Um, so you guys can see a little bit, because it takes too much time. Angel of Renewal, which is a nice card, for limited maybe. Uh, Ulamox Nullifier, I like this card a lot, reminds me of, uh, geez, that exploit creature of Dragons of Tarku, I'm not... Uh, Silumgar Sorcerer, I think, also counters uh, something with uh, Exploit. This card is really cool too. Ah, Retreat to Emeria. I wanted this card for my ally commander deck, so I, I can get more uh, ally creatures on the battlefield. Cool. And, oh, Instant Mythic. The Dragon Master Outcast reprint. And, of course, a Fuard Land. Yeah, this card was printed in World Wake and uh, is back for more Carnage. I'm not sure why they reprinted this one, but hey, start off with a mythic. That's pretty cool. On to the second booster. Well, that's a good start. Of course, it's not uh, the best mythic because well, it's not a new mythic. So, but still, does things. Uh, here we have the uh, uncommon. Oh, uh, I mean the common lands. I like that. Jeez, uh, man, I can't get my sentences right. <laughs> I like the common lands. All right, here we have another retreat to Hagra. Not too bad. Nice uh, two-headed giant card. Pathway arrows. Processor assault. A really good card if you have something exiled. And a drowner of hope, together with a four land, of course. Throne of Hope is not too bad. Oh, sorry, I skipped through it. It taps creatures and gives you science. Six mana? I don't know. It's it's a pretty decent card, I think. On to the next booster. Yeah, I was thinking about doing a little bit more than just unpacking it, but uh, I don't really have one basic unpacking video, so I thought, hey, why not? Sandstone Bridge, another favorite. The common lands, as I tell, uh, told you. Complete disregard, nice removal spell, more common lands. Mm. Here we have Rod Shambler, gives uh, counters to itself, uh, I mean, gets counters if something dies that you control. The uncommon cycle of uh, the lands is also really cool to have, I like them all actually, <laughs> especially for EDH I think, it does something extra, always nice. Resolute Blade Master, cool ally card. And a Wasteland Strangler, a good standard card in my opinion. Uh, if you have the Adrazi uh, engine going, this card will remove a lot of threats, I think. Awesome. And another full art land. The first foil still has to be uh, somewhere. But hey, let's just do this. I'm already happy <laughs> with a few cards. Here we have Coral Helm Guide. Which is a cool draft card. I really like this on the pre release. Dutiful Return. It's a reprint, not our ally. Well, see if we have something special. No, not really. Ah, here we have the Plighted Cataract. Draws two cards if you sacrifice it. Really strong. I like it a lot. Ah, a new, um, how do you call it? Journey to Nowhere with Flash. Uh, extra mana. Flash is, makes this card pretty decent. And here we have the Awaken 4 for 5, and whenever a creature attacks this turn, it gains lifelink. The fun thing is when you awaken it, of course, you get a 4-4 Haster with lifelink. And a Shrine of the Forsaken Gods. I'm not a big fan of this card, but maybe in some colorless decks. And of course, a Full Art Land. <laughs> well, the right pile so far, I'll just go through the piles here. The right pile so far... Didn't really give me anything, uh, well, of course we have the Mythic, that's pretty cool, but there's nothing much going on still. Alright, sift through the comments again. This is cool. 
Goblin War Paint. Ah, I think this one has a foil because we're already starting with uh, the uncommon. So yeah, it uh, taps and untaps or scries when you put a land into play. There's a lot of combo potential with this card. There are already uh, a few uh, thought of, I think. Hedron Archive. It's uh, between Mindstone and uh, Dreamstone Hedron. Cyrene Stewart for the life gain ally theme. And oh, here we have the first um, mythic Op Nexilus Reignited. Really cool card. Let you draw a card to lose one life for the plus one, or destroy a creature just out of nothing. And here we have the. <laughs> I skipped through the ultimate, sorry. And it gets an emblem target opponent and whenever a player draws a card you lose two life so when you draw a card that enemy player also uh, loses life which is not not too uh, not too bad and here we have void attendant nice Eldrazi, Eldrazi processor All right, let me get the sleeve for this Rob Nexilus uh, I mean Ob Nexilus <laughs> All right, right Powell instantly takes the lead with two mythics already and we just started this whole box this could be a nice box uh, here we have mortuary mire oh more common lands please sure I'll take them any day here's the T-Bolt look-alike <laughs> but maybe this card is even better than T-Bolt I'm not sure <laughs> rising miasma it's an infest sort of card but with um, with awaken catacomb sifter nice card useful uh, lets you scry and gives you science for only three that's a good deal here we have more Eldrazi um, stimulation colorless creature you control or other colorless gets uh, get the zero plus one nice and we have the first dual land not an expedition land but that doesn't matter canopy vista I want all of these lands because they're just plain useful and a Corella and a full heart land cool I want all the dual lands, of course. I think those will see play in uh, modern eventually, maybe. Uh, I don't know, still, they have the shock duels, of course, but I don't know. This is a good budget option for now. I'm not sure if they uh, rise in price. Um, but I like them. Tutorable. Val Aggravate. This card can get really out of hand with all your science, I think, if you have uh, the right deck for it. Cool. Has Trample. That makes it uh, pretty decent. Ah, oh, well, <laughs> combination over here, huh? Spawning Bad gives you three colorless Eldrazi Sign creature tokens. One, one, for six mana and tap this. So this is really, if you have a grindy game or something, you can play this. Dampening Pulse, also a nice two-headed giant card. Because if you play it, the, uh, the creatures of both your enemies get minus one, minus zero. And Ghoul Dress Overseer. This has landfall, and uh, if, if, if it's a swamp, you get the double bonus. <clears throat> or, well, the plus two, plus zero, instead of just one. And a forward land. Not too shabby. I don't know. I'm not really a big fan of those filler rares, but of course you have to have these. Um, I would play that card in uh, draft or limited. Uh, I mean, limited in general. Doesn't matter, sealed. Yeah, Skyline Cascade. Funny thing about this card is it, that it doesn't taps, uh, it doesn't tap a creature. So this card is quite balanced, uh, in my opinion. It's not too strong. All right. Yeah, horribly Ari. <laughs> I think that's the right pronounce, pronounce, uh, pr pronouncement. <laughs> Jeez, today's my sentences are not working, but that's okay. We're just uh, gonna keep on going with Blighted Step, which gives you life. And we have a core soldier ally that taps creatures. A bit expensive for constructed, but doable in ally decks, I think. And here we have Lantern Scout, also an ally. And ooh, another foil. The right pile gives us foils. Incubator Drone. That looks really sweet. And this card gives all the allies lifelink. Cool. It's always nice to see those full art lands in the back of the booster. You always have a nice finisher. All right, next up is this booster, which is gonna give me I don't know. <laughs> let's let's find out. Yeah, more common lands. No, 
another Vile Aggravate. Side Leopard. Uh, this card will see play, I think, in an aggro landfall deck with all the fetch and stuff. Breaker of Armies. 10 8 Eldrazi Monstrosity that has to be blocked with everything. Well, <laughs> not too bad. And here we have Oren Reef Hydra. Good pre release card, good limited card, but besides that, I don't think so. Good thing though is that it has trample already, so you don't have to worry about chump blocking, uh, chump blockers. Cool, nice booster. All right, we're going fast through the right pile. Maybe I'm gonna split this uh, video up in three uh, uh, parts because uh, I don't know it takes a lot of time. Sheer drop, nice. Mm, some beasts. Well. Another Hedron Archive, Hedron, I don't know if it's Hedron or Hedron, you guys can uh, tell me in the comments below. Scythe Leopard, another one, Malakir Familiar, which is a good uh, blocker or attacker if you have the right uh, deck for it. And another Lantern Scout, <laughs> wow. Alright, well we've seen this one, and oh look at this one, a foil, Shrine of the Forsaken Gods, well I jinxed myself saying that I didn't like it, but this actually looks really really pretty and of course for our land cool all right two more boosters in the right pile and we already have an obnixilus and the dragon master outcast plus one of the dual lands or fake duels i don't know what's the word for those new duels tap duels no i don't know basic duels <laughs> stone fury was a really strong card in uh well, limited as you can guess. <laughs> Five damage at least. Molten Nursery. This is a new one. Uh, when you play a, when you cast a colorless spell, it deals one damage to target creature or player. The good thing about this is that it uh, also uh, pings creatures and players instead of just creatures or just players. Royal's Retribution, also a knight removal spell. Four limited. <laughs> Ruination Guide, yeah, I like this card for your aggressive Eldrazi decks. All the colorless creatures you control get plus one, plus zero. That's gonna be cool, right? And yeah, another Wasteland Strangler. I want this card, this card we'll see play, I think. And ooh, another foil. Of course the Fortland, and this card, <laughs> Career Griffin. Also a nice uh, limited card again. There are a lot of limited uh, potentials in this set, I think. But yeah, besides that, no, right? And the elemental haster with thermal. Cool. Last booster of the right pile. I think I will split this up in three videos so you guys will not be bored. <laughs> Benthic Infiltrator, another common land, which is also really cool. And another one. This card, uh, I already had seen it a few times, but this card is actually uh, a lot of value in one common card, isn't it? It removes a card for your ingest stuff and your uh, Eldrazi uh, combo potential, whatever, you know what I mean. And uh, gives you a creature and lets you draw a card at instant speed. I think this card is uh, really cool. Volcanic Upheaval, Giant Mantis, Predator. Alright, here we go again. I think, do, do we have another foil? Nah. I don't know. Bloodbound Vampire, whenever you gain life, it's another one of those uh, ally cars that works with life gain. Too bad it doesn't have flying. Blighted Gorge again, and another Undo Rising, and a Conduit, Conduit of Ruin. Yeah, you gotta read this card, because this card is a tutor for your Eldrazi stuff. And lets you uh, play with a discount. Yeah, cool. Yeah, uh, we do have another foil, Rolling Thunder. Wow, that looks really red. <laughs> and the octopus token for Kiora, which uh, I hope we get. <laughs> so a quick, a quick recap for uh, pile one of the booster box. We have Conrad of Ruin, two Wasteland Stranglers, Drowner of Hope, Canopy Vista, Foil Shrine of the Forsaken Gods and a non-foil, Guldras Overseer, Oren Rief Hydra, Two Lantern Scouts, Dragon Master Outcast, and Rob Nixel. Uh, I keep saying Rob Nixel is because of that <laughs> that guest uh, that uh, was here last week. But uh, Rob Nixel is <laughs> nice. So thank you so much for watching this first part of uh, the Booster Box unboxing. Um, 
I will uh, post the other two for file two and file three later and hopefully you will see those as well. Until pile two, keep in mind of my giveaway in October. I will be doing that at the end of October, but if you give me some input, well, the video is in this video, so you can see what I mean. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching, guys. And until pile number two. Later.